Although Hollywood celebrated Call Me By Your Name, which won Best Adapted Screenplay at the 2018 Oscars, studio movies actually backed away from featuring LGBTQ characters in 2017. In a new survey of the 109 films released theatrically by major studios last year, advocacy group GLAAD reports that gay, lesbian, bi, trans and queer characters appeared in only 14 films. That number accounts for just 12.8% of the total releases, the lowest percentage of movies containing LGBTQ characters since GLAAD began its annual report in 2012. The only positive development was that with characters like Betty Gabriel's Georgina, who appears to have had a lesbian past in Get Out, diversity increased with people of color representing 16 of the 28 characters identified in 2017 studio films. In issuing the report, GLAAD president and CEO Sarah Kate Ellis called for the major studios to include LGBTQ characters in 20% of their releases by 2021 and in 50% of their films by 2024. The report also noted that gay men were the most represented on film. And while lesbian representation has remained steady and bisexuals increased slightly, there were no trans characters of any race or ethnicity in the film studied. The study ultimately found that no studio deserved an excellent or even a good ranking when judging how LGBTQ characters were treated treated in its annual Studio Responsibility Index. Fox with a gay couple amid the crew in Alien Covenant and Universal with a largely sidelined lesbian character in Pitch Perfect 3 ranked highest with an insufficient. Disney, Paramount and Sony were deemed poor and Warners and Lionsgate received failing grades. The report pointed to Warners Chips as one of the worst examples of movies that include gays only to treat them as punchlines, saying that its many gay panic jokes reinforce outdated ideals of masculinity and project the false idea that in order to appeal to one demographic the film must insult another audience. The study also faulted movies like Marvel's Thor Ragnarok and Warner's Wonder Woman for failing to include queer characters found in their source material. In its major findings, the report did not include the LGBTQ representation in the films released by the studio's specialty labels, like Sony Pictures Classic, which handled Call Me By Your Name, and Fox Searchlight, which fielded Battle of the Sexes. To read more on this story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.